In this video, we're going to be checking out some Case-to-Fi impact cases for the brand new Galaxy Fold 6, as well as a power cable, a lanyard, and we're also going to be testing out their tempered glass screen protector for the front of the Fold 6. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I will be doing a scratch and a drop test to see how durable the screen protector really is. And if you guys want to pick any of these up, I will be putting product links in the video description. I also want to give a huge shout out to Casetify for sending this out to me so I could do this review for you guys today. So here is the impact case by Casetify. They have a whole bunch of really cool different patterns that you can choose from. You can even create your own if you really want to. These are also military grade drop tested up to four feet. One of the unique things that I haven't seen yet on these kind of cases is it has this little rubber hinge on the middle which keeps the front and the back pieces together so you don't have to worry about them sliding off every time you open and close your phone. It also has this little sticker that you want to remove before you put your phone inside the case. So then I'll just take the Fold 6, we'll put it inside the bottom portion, we'll press it into place, then we'll fold over the top here and then just press that the rest of the way. And then just kind of press down near the hinge to, to secure that sticker that we took off before. And there you go. Feels pretty good on the phone, feels good in the hand. It's got a little bit of a grip to it, so it helps uh, keep, your, keep a hold on your phone. It's got a little cutout for your fingerprint sensor here, volume buttons, easily pressable, nice and clicky. The edges of the case are also rubberized as well and they're lifted, so when you put your phone on its face, it's got a nice big lip to help protect your screen. On the back here, you can see that it shows off the color of your phone and it's got that really cool design on the back. We also have a good raised edge around our camera lenses for protection there too. And then if we look at the side, you can see that there is the cutout for the fingerprint sensor and the, the power button. And we have our volume buttons on the side here, which are also rubberized. Feels like a pretty nice case. Looks really cool as well. Now having a nice grip on these edges also helps open the phone a lot easier. And as you can see, when I open it up, the case doesn't move either, which is definitely a plus. And in case you're curious, if we look at the inside, you can see that there's just a very slight raised edge on the inner portion of the case. Let's test out our fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor is working perfectly fine. And I do not have facial recognition set up on this phone, so it's not recognizing my face. It is actually working with the fingerprint sensor. Yep. Very nice case. And so you can see again that the case does not move when I open and close the phone. You can tell by the middle of the case. It's another good reason to have that little hinge on each side of the case as well. And we also have cutouts on the top here for our microphones and our speakers, as well as on the bottom, cutout for our charging port. And if you need to wirelessly charge, you don't need to take the case off. You can easily wirelessly charge right through the case. And if you need a really nice USB Type-C cable to charge up your brand new Fold 6, Casetify also has you covered there with their USB Type-C to USB Type-C braided cable. This also can accommodate fast charging as well. This particular one I have here is the Lavender. As you can see, it's got a really nice braided cable. It's 6.6 .6 feet. And you also don't have to worry about it fraying or getting all tangled up. All I need to do is simply plug this into any wall adapter, plug the other end into the charger, and it'll start to charge your phone. And it fits perfectly with inside the bottom of this case. And if you need a way to carry your brand new Fold 6 within its case, Casetify also has you covered there with their black utility crossbody lanyard. Now these come in quite a few different styles and colors, so definitely check out 
their website to see everything that they have to offer. <laughs> There's pretty much one here for everybody. This definitely has to be one of the nicer lanyards that I have ever seen. It's made of this really strong nylon, so you don't have to worry about this ever breaking. And it's got this really nice, sturdy little belt clip here. It's made of solid metal, comes apart very easily, and clips right back into place. The other really nice thing is it's, it's kind of like a two for one. One, you have this crossbody lanyard, or you can simply take it apart, and you get this little strap that you can easily kind of like put on your wrist. So you don't have to take the whole lanyard, you can just take this little piece here and still hold on to your case. It also has these really premium leather straps on the ends. This ring on the bottom here is also metal and you can easily take off this little bottom part here or attach this to something else you might have. And it also comes with this little piece here that you put inside the case. I'll show you how to do that right now. <clears throat> so all you need to do is really remove the back portion of your phone, just kind of fold that over just like this. We're gonna take this little piece here. We're going to put it into the bottom of the case, just like that. Fold your phone back over, push the case back on. And then you have that little clip on the bottom here that you can use for your lanyard. This just simply clips into place, just like that, and you're all set. So now you can either use the little wristlet or you can use the whole uh, crossbody lanyard to hold onto your phone. Super solid, very well built, definitely recommend it. I actually use this kind of clip for one of my belts and it will not come apart unless you press these two little pieces here up and it easily comes apart. Even if you were to press one, it still will not come apart. You need to press both of these up at the same time and then it just easily comes apart like that and you can easily clip it back into place without pressing those little buttons. Great design, very solid, worth every penny. And then here we have the impact case in a blue. Again, just like that first case, it does have that little rubber hinge in the middle to help keep both of these pieces together on the phone. Fits on the phone perfectly, has a nice grip to it, feels good in the hand. It's got that blue kind of tinge to it. And you can see it still has that same great raised edge. So even if we were to put the tempered glass screen protector on the phone, you would still have a really nice raised edge all the way around the phone for protection. And on the back, as you can see, it's got that blue color. And then here we have the Case Defy Clear case in a kind of like industrial pattern. Now, as you can see from this case, it does not have that little rubber piece to keep both these pieces together on the phone. But this one is made of a hard plastic. It's not made of a rubber. This case also has a clear piece inside that you need to remove before putting on your phone. That's just to help keep the case from getting all scratched up and all the fingerprints all over the inside. So we'll take our phone, we'll put this on the inside of our case. We'll just press that into place. And then for the top, we'll remove the sticker. And then just place this over the top of your phone. And then just press down on the spine here. Make sure the sticker stays in place. And there it is on the phone. Feels good in the hand. It does not feel slippery. It's got a little bit of a grip to it. There's a cutout for your fingerprint sensor and your volume buttons on the side. Nice and clicky, easily pressable. Let's test out our fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor works fine. If we look at it from the top, you can see we have our cutout for our speaker, all of our microphones. It also doesn't add much extra bulk to the phone. We have our cutout for our speaker and our charging port on the bottom. If we look at it from the side, you can see it still has a big raised edge all the way around the screen. And on the back, again, shows off the call of your phone. I think it looks pretty cool with this pattern and the carbon fiber on the back. And it's also got that raised edge around our cameras for protection there too. Very cool case.
Let's open it up. Seems to stay on the phone perfectly fine. Does not seem to move. And in case you're curious, again, it looks like it just has a slight raised edge on the sides. But it also, again, does help open your phone. It's a little harder to open your phone when you don't have a case on it, so that's definitely a good reason to get a case besides protection. And again, if you want to wirelessly charge through this case, you can do that too. And if we look at the edges, you can see that it's got kind of like these, it looks like grip on the side, but it's not actually on the outer portion of the case. It's on the inside. All you feel is the smooth plastic. But again, it does not feel slippery in the hand, so you don't really have to worry about that. And again, this is the clear case. And then here we have another clear case in totally clear in case you don't want any patterns. This one again is made of hard plastic. It does not have that rubber hinge to keep the two pieces together. And it also has the protective cover on the inside. So let's put our phone inside the case here, press it on, take off the sticker from the top, then put this back on the top just like this. And then just run your finger down the spine here. And there you go. It's got that same good grip to it. Looks really nice on the phone. Has that same raised edge on the front. And on the back now it shows totally shows off the color of whatever phone you got. Looks really nice. You can't really go wrong with either the impact or the clear case. But I do like the Impact's little rubber hinge that it has on each side of the case to help keep it on your phone. But it doesn't seem like the clear cases move at all, even though they don't have that little hinge. So now let's install and test out the Impact HD Tempered Glass Screen Protector. So it looks like it comes with this really easy to install tray. So you get one tempered glass screen protector and an installation packet. So before you start your installation, make sure that you take off your case, then take your alcohol wipe. We're going to thoroughly clean off the screen of our phone, then dry the screen off. Then you can use your dust sticker to remove any dust. Then take your installation guide, lift up on the screen protector. We're gonna take our phone, we're gonna place it inside the guide, just like that. <sighs> then just let this lay down, making sure that it fits within these little posts on the side here. Then all we need to do is to pull on the blue tab here, just like this. And then run your finger down the middle of the screen in the way that the arrow is going. It should adhere to your phone. <clears throat> you can take your squeegee and try to squeegee out some bubbles. If you happen to see any, then lift up on the screen protector. Carefully peel off the top layer. And then you can take your phone out. Take a look at the screen. Looks like a nice installation. There's just a little bit of bubbles in the corner here, but we can easily squeegee those out. <clears throat> and you're all set. Looks like a really nice installation. The screen protector does have Case Defy's logo in the top corners there, you guys can see in the top corner there, and we have one in the lower corner here. It also doesn't cover the whole screen. It does leave a gap all the way around the screen for case compatibility. As far as touch, feels nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. As far as fingerprints, <coughs> it seems to do a pretty good job at rejecting fingerprints. I, I don't see any fingerprints whatsoever on the screen. There's just a the slightest light little smudge, but other than that, I don't see a thing. So that is definitely good. Let's take a look at the screen here. Screen looks nice and clear. Touch working perfectly fine, no issues there. So now let's see what the screen looks like as if you were looking at it through polarized sunglasses. 
So as you can see, there is a rainbow effect on the screen. And depending on how you look at it, it may change color or it might not be that bad. So it really all depends on how you have the phone angled. If you have it angled like that, it really doesn't look that bad. But if you have it angled straight up, you can see the rainbow. So now let's put the phone back inside the case and we'll test out the case compatibility. And it seems to fit perfectly with the screen protector. The screen protector comes right up to the edge of the case. So it is perfectly made for the case to fi cases. You can see there are no lifting, no bubbles. So if you're going to be using the screen protector with the case to fi case, it's going to fit perfectly and it should fit perfectly fine with other cases as well because there is a nice gap all the way around the screen. So everything's looking great so far for the tempered glass screen protector. Now let's move on to the scratch and the drop test. So we're going to start off our drop test by dropping a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a starting height of two feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So here we go, two feet. Moving on to three feet. Moving on to four feet. Moving on to five feet. Six feet. Seven feet. And that did it, seven feet. So this screen protector lasted up until a seven foot drop, which is outstanding. Now let's move on to the scratch test. So now typically regular tempered glass starts to scratch around a most hardness number six. So we're gonna start off with a number five. Then we'll move on to a number six. And then finally, a number seven. So if we take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are slight at a number six and deeper at a number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for regular tempered glass. So installation for this tempered glass screen protector was super easy. It also does seem to be case friendly. It's got excellent fingerprint rejection. It lasted up until a seven foot drop and scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. So I'm pretty impressed with the tempered glass screen protector and Case Defy also seems to have some really nice cases and other accessories for the brand new Galaxy Fold 6. And again, if you guys want to pick any of these up yourself, I will be putting product links in the video description. Which one of these accessories are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.